Good morning <clears throat> and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Pearson at Excel International Math by Nitakamoto. And today I want to introduce a very important uh, subtopic uh, under the topic of shape and space 7. And I want us to discuss about similar shapes. And under similar shapes I want us to talk specifically about the area of similar shapes. And <clears throat> allow me to have a square of one centimeter length and one centimeter width. This is a square. If we happen to, to double the length of these dimensions, you realize that it will have a length of two centimeters because we are doubling from one to two. And the width of two centimeters, again, because we are doubling. And before we can even go on, Similar shapes are shapes that look the same even though they are not of the same size. They are very similar. They look very, very similar. <clears throat> so the question is, when, once we have now the square of two centimeter dimension, how many of these squares can fit here? And the answer is very simple. You just have to have uh, to realize that this centimeter has a length of one centimeter, this square has a length of one centimeter, and from here to here is two centimeters, so you divide by two, you come up with a dotted line there, and then you divide these two into two to accommodate the one centimeter width, and then you come up with a dotted line there. So this square fits here, so we have one square, the second square, the third square, and the fourth square. So we have four squares. If we may consider the area of the original square, it's one times one, which is one centimeter squared. And the area of the resulted or resulting square after, after now the length has been doubled and the width has been doubled, we come up with a square that is two by two and the area is four centimeter squared. Under that, I would want to concentrate on how the length has actually been affected from 1 to 2. And this is now what gives us the word linear scale factor. The linear scale factor is given by the length of the new figure uh, divided by the length of the old figure. And I'm, I should have said the corresponding length of the old figure corresponding meaning that if we are considering this length then we consider the corresponding length if we are considering the diagonal then we consider the corresponding diagonal so in this case our linear scale factor is 2 divided by 1 which is a 2 and we have actually talked about the area of the new figure comparing it uh, again is the area of the old figure and here we have the linear scale factor it is important to understand that the area scale factor according to what you can see is given by the area of new divided by the area of old figure in this case we have four over 1 which is 4 and this is now the lesson the same area scale factor if you do not have the area of both of these squares you can talk about it's given by the linear scale factor squared because you can see the linear scale factor is 2 when you square that one then you get the area scale factor. So I may want to summarize here and say the area scale factor is given by the area of new over the area of old which is equals to the linear scale factor squared. And at the same time, we will go to volume and we will talk about the same thing. And in this video, I want us now to talk about um, 
if you consider something to do with them if we have this square now one centimeter one centimeter and then you triple the length it's going to give you uh, times three is going to give you three and three so you have a square which looks like it is having three centimeter length and three centimeter width so how many of these can fit here you have one and one you have one and one so you have that line you have that line you have that line and that line so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine squares so the area of this is the area of the original one times one two three four five six seven eight nine so the area here is one centimeter squared and the area here is nine centimeter squared if we talk about this if we can now explain this using the linear scale factor linear scale factor is length of the new over length of the old which is 3 over 1 which is 3 and 3 that is the linear scale factor and of course you can see the area scale factor is 3 squared which is 9 meaning that if you want to get the area um, of new according to um, according to according to this the area of new is is given by the area scale factor times the area of old that one is explained but is explained here in fact if we talk about if we cross multiply here the area of new is area scale factor times the area of the old so that one is just perfectly there that means one uh, the area scale factor is 9 times the area of the old which is 1 then you get this one to be 9 centimeter squared we will be talking more about um, about this and I would want to just explain example 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 15 example 15 let's talk about example example 15 in the same video and two shapes shown below there is this shape and there is a bigger shape here same shape and we have four centimeters there and we have eight centimeters there. so you can see already we have this shape and this shape four centimeters and eight centimeters you can see already the corresponding length is double so the linear scale factor is obviously two so the area of shape A is 10 centimeters squared. Find the area of B. We are expected to find the area of B. Very easy, so to speak. The linear scale factor is given by the length of the new over the corresponding length of the old, which is 8 over 4, which is 2. The area scale factor is the linear scale factor squared which is 2 squared which is simply 4 and the area um, scale factor can also be given by area of new over area of old so the area of new is the area scale factor times the area of old now area of part b this is a and this is shape b area of b is the area scale factor which is 4 times the area of the old which is 10 giving us 40 centimeter square 40 centimeter square please take note of course follow Make sure you understand. I will be giving further examples. And uh, make sure you follow. Go to my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe and share widely. And let us do work together. All right.